Hi guys, Steve here. I finally found time to read the new Arc 2 community update on Steam. A lot sounded promising, but there are two bits that are disappointing and quite frankly worrying. So I'm making this video to try and help out the game. All the devs needed to do to make Arc 2 a massive huge success is to give us better graphics, fix the code and all the bugs, stop the hackers and cheats, remove tech and make it a dinosaur game again, and add some new innovation. That's all that's needed. And if I wanted to try and resurrect official PvP again, remove or completely redo cross-server transfers, and put PvP back to how it was in the good old days, that everyone misses. Not which Mega Tribe Alliance can hack and cheat the most, like it's been for years. Right, I'll quickly go through the main talking points of the forum post. Arc 2's release date has been postponed till 2023. No surprises there. We all expected it, so no problem. But if it's looking like 2024, give us plenty of warnings so we can work a schedule around it. We're fine with it being delayed, we just don't want to be messed around and left hanging. We need time to upgrade to Unreal Engine 5, which is fine. The Unreal 5 engine tech looks fantastic and photorealistic, so it was a good and needed choice to change to that. They're introducing revolutionary full mod support for consoles, about time for that. Arc 2 will launch simultaneously on Steam, Early Access and Console. We believe that Arc 2 will be the ultimate primal, that's primal, survival experience. So that's a good sign and it sounds like we're going back to a dinosaur game again. You will team up with legendary heroes, that'll be Vin Diesel to rescue his family. Gotta protect his family from his family. And it tells us every aspect of the Ark series has been rethought and redesigned in a sequel. Okay. We like the Ark gameplay as it is, but okay, let's see where you're going with that. Vin Diesel's going to be the new legendary hero, Santiago, and he has to protect his daughter. Okay, fine. Revolutionary cross platform modding, so Xbox players can use mods now. And now we get to the two parts I'm most worried about. So I'm going to read both together. Title, Best in Class Third Person Only Gameplay. Advanced character traversal mechanics like mantling, free climbing, parkour, sliding and swinging. And the second title, Souls Like Melee Combat. Target lock, blocks, dodges, combos, staggers, special attacks emphasising player skill based action. So the two main points out of that, that it's only going to be third person, no first person view anymore, and it's now going to have souls like melee combat with target lock. Right, we like Ark, and Ark is successful for what it is, and that's a first person survival game. We all switch to third person view now and then, and that's fine, but most of us play in first person mode most of the time, because it's immersive and it feels like you're in the game. When you spawn into the game for the first time and you see how huge your trees are, you've got giant dinosaurs walking around, big carnivores running after you trying to eat you, all that is in first person, it's all immersive and it's a wow moment. It makes you feel like a small, tiny, vulnerable human in a huge, very dangerous world. Even years later, when you're walking around inside the base you've built yourself in first person mode, or standing next to a creature you've tamed, and you're looking up at it, seeing how huge it is in first person mode, you're thinking, yeah, I'm a survivor in this game. I've built this massive base, I've tamed this huge dino, and even though you might not realise it until you're thinking about it now, that first person mode connects you to what you feel about the game. It immerses you inside it and it feels like you're part of a game. That's a big part of what you love about playing Ark, but now that first person mode is going to be removed from Ark 2. That will remove all immersion, you will not feel like you're in the game, and now like every other third person game ever created, you will feel like you're just moving a small avatar around on screen, that you're just playing a game, that you're not in it. Your connection to your buildings are less, and your connections to your beloved dinosaurs you've tamed will be much less as well. As you won't be riding them seeing everything through your eyes, it will now be you seeing your small character riding your dinos on screen. And riding creatures in third person view is never as precise and accurate as riding them in first person view when you want to do precise targeting or combat. With Arc 1 we switch between first and third person view for different situations, which works great, but we won't be able to do that on Arc 2. 
Then we have the Souls-like melee combat. What we love about Ark at the moment is that you're free to do and play as you want. Apart from those Genesis maps where we were forced to do those missions to progress. That's why they weren't liked so much. The combat in Ark is a first person view. You start from a distance, you zoom down your scope of your sniper rifle, it's a first person shooter, it's immersive and it feels like you've taken a shot. Then again with a bow and arrow, you zoom in, take a shot, and you can move around freely and target anything you want really fast. Then when the enemy gets closer, you draw your melee weapon, you look in the enemy in the eyes that's running towards you, but you've got to use your skill and target where you want to hit. You're free to switch to any target just by looking around. It's fast, it's free, it's natural and it's immersive. And again, it's in first person. All you have to do is look at the enemy and attack the enemy. And it's up to your skill if you win. But now the melee combat will be third person view only which is more like Conan Exiles, which is a very good game in itself, you should try it. But one of the main reasons why we're playing Ark and not Conan Exiles is that because Ark has first person mode, but it's not gonna be in Ark 2. Ark 2 will also have target lock, like Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Now those games are very good because the game's been built up around those mechanics. You're usually only fighting one or two or three people at a time. So you can lock onto each individual target you want to melee hit and fight them one after another. But how are you going to target lock five direwolves chasing you down, four termites spawning on the ground, a pterodon flying by, then two carnos coming at you from behind a rock, all of them in front of you at the same time. I know the creatures will be different, but you get the idea of what I'm saying. Situations like that that happen thousands of times in Ark are going to be as frantic and messy as hell with target lock. How are you going to switch between a three, five, ten creatures coming towards you? Unless you've got an exceptionally good combat system planned, which is like Dark Souls, but not Dark Souls, because Dark Souls combat won't work, you're just going to be running for your life or swinging the melee weapon around, hoping for the best. Think of a time when you've had loads of Predator Dinos running towards you from every direction. Now imagine taking those dinosaurs out of first person arc, then being put in and fighting them in a third person Dark Souls game. We're going to have to click extra buttons to lock on and change target. We've got to unlock your targeting to turn around to be able to run away. Instead of what we have now in Arc 1, which is a completely free flowing and unlocked combat system, we can dodge through the rocks and run up a cliff out of way of them, then just look at the closest dino and hit it with a pike when it gets close to you. No need for the lock on or switch target keys, which we'll have to add for Arc 2. It is possible that I can come up with a good melee combat system for Arc 2, and I'm sure they've done an internal tech demo to test that. But after playing Elden Ring for weeks, I cannot imagine a combat system like that working for an Ark game. Some of the main reasons you love Ark is that it is a first person survival game. It feels immersive and you can see the grand scale of everything. And you like the combat system the way it is now. You're free to move around and fight however you want. But by not having a first person view and changing the combat system to a Dark Souls one, I'm worried that you're going to get a knockoff version of Dark Souls but with dinosaurs. Because we've lost what we liked about Ark 1. The devs are changing a winning formula of what made Ark 1 successful and they're changing it to a different type of game. And that's very risky. Take for instance their other game, Atlas. It was almost a carbon copy of Ark, but with a few systems changed. In theory it should have been a successor to Ark, but it failed because people liked the Ark systems better. And if people don't like the change from Ark 1 to Ark 2, Ark 2 could suffer the same fate. I started a poll on my YouTube channel and asked a simple question. Do you want a third person only view in Arc 2? That's no more Arc 1 first person view. The results were more or less exactly how I predicted. Only 14% of people are okay with just a third person view. And I'm sure that most of those are just console players, as they're used to third person view in most of the games they play. The majority of people, a massive 86%, voted no, they want first person view in Arc 2. So to change something about your game that 86% of your customers aren't going to like is a bit risky. So you can see now why Arc 2 may fail. Arc 1 is a first person survival game. Arc 2 will change to a third person Assassin's Creed movement, Conan Exiles, Dark Souls-like combat survival game. A very different game from what we have now. 
Third person only view is going to be a huge risk when it needn't be. And that's why I'm doing this video to hopefully change the dev's mind to put first person back in the game. Arc 2 will sell well no matter what, as it's riding on the name of Arc 1 and people are curious and want to see what it's like. I know I'm going to get it even though I'm worried what it's going to be, but by changing key game mechanics, if the players don't like it they're not going to hang around. The game might not hit sales expectations, and in the long term a loyal fan base might stop playing, go back to Arc 1 or other games. Hopefully I'm wrong and hopefully Arc 2 will be awesome, but if I'm not, don't say I didn't try and warn them. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Are you worried that a first person view has been removed? And what about a Dark Souls like combat? Let us know what your thoughts are. If you find this video interesting, please support me and click like. Subscribe and click the bell notifications on all if you haven't already. And show that you want me to make more art content. Thanks for watching and check out your other videos at the end. Goodbye.